It's just about time for our main event of the evening. Coming up, the heavyweight battle between Fedor Emelianenko and Matt Lindland coming up to weight classes for the opportunity of a lifetime to be a superstar tonight. and mixed martial arts fans around the world. Welcome to the Bodog Clash of the Nations main event. Introducing one of the best fighters in the world, Matt never stand on the Olympic podium. But that didn't stop him from walking away from the 2000 games with a silver medal hanging around his neck. And I'm equally sure that there are many people who think that he doesn't have a chance tonight. But if there is one man capable of that Quixotic goal of moving up through two weight classes and knocking the king of kings off his throne, it's got to be the man who's built his life around a refusal to acknowledge the words, no, you can't. And his name is Matt the Law Linwood. Дамы и господа, 
Красного Ринга из Орегона Мэтт Линдла! introduction in this ring. He is 31 years of age and stands six feet even. He weighed in at 230 ready and fighting pounds with an incredible record of 25 big wins and only one defeat, 17 of those victories ending in round number one. Ladies and gentlemen, from Stare, a school, Russia, this man is considered to be one of the best, if not the best fighter on the planet. He is known as the baddest man in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, wearing black trunks and fighting from the black corner, introducing Fedor Emelianenko. Well, of course, Fedor Emelianenko. Его профессиональный рекорд 25 побед это только одно поражение. Лучший боец мира в черном горинга из старого скола Россия. Федор Чаверкаленко! Gentlemen, this is the main event of the night. We have millions of people all around the world watching this fight tonight. We all know the rules. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corner. All right, so we're set to go. Tom Samario's son is serving with the American Second forces down. in Iraq. Second so all down. the American forces are watching this, supporting Matt Lindland. And, of course, the Russian Army vet, Emelianenko, has all his guys watching him. Plus the worldwide audience. This is a heavyweight battle. Our main it's event of the night, the Fedor Emelianenko, decked out Quickly. in his uh, black trunks. They're the short ones. Matt Lindland, Judge, also in black, Judge, with a little gold trim Judge, on his, ready? a little Fire, bit longer. Ready? We're Fire, set to go. This should Fire. be something. Watch how fast Emelianenko was trying to start. History is being made in the Bodog fight ring tonight, and Matt Lindland is showing no hesitation in making it. Charging forward and looking for that Greco clinch right away. He's already opened up a huge cut over the left the right arm right of Lindor Emelianenko. I go the ropes. But on the inside, he the wants to keep him close. The he doesn't want to take the, the power. Ropes. Going for leg sweeps of both guys. Picks him up. Does that. He wants to drive him down, and he does. Matt wants to be down here, a great wrestler, good in submissions. Fado is the type of guy that doesn't need to get past this half guard. If he can create distance, he'll blast. The crowd going absolutely crazy as Fado looks to find a submission. Looks like he's hunting for that left arm of Matt Lindland. Matt holds him close and avoids any sort of submission hold. Tries to wrap him up with his legs and kick him away at the same time. Fedor working his way into full mount, but Matt Lindley doing the right thing by keeping that knee up. Fedor known as a master of ground and pound. Lindley does now looking for an Achilles lock. Oh, wow! Only to his belly, cranking on that ankle. Lindley blasts him with the heel to get out of that. Right back on top is a million ankle. This is something else. We told you to be fast and furious. Fedor's got Lindland absolutely folded in half right now. But Lindland looks like he's possibly looking to climb onto the back of Fedor. Hard to see who's got the advantage from this position right now. As great as Lindland is as a wrestler, this just shows you how complete Fedor is. Guys, my heart is pounding. I saw he just barely got tapped on the side of the head and he was bleeding all over. And I thought Fedor was in serious trouble. He grabbed the rope to avoid, to avoid that takedown and reversed Lindland's throw, and he ends up in the mount again. He's in the full mount this time. Matt tries to blast him. He tries to buck him off. Look at this. Looking for an arm locked out. Desperate position for Matt Lindland. Lindland has to try to keep that arm safe. Let go of your shorts, man. Let go of your shorts, man. If manages to extend his body and extend that arm, this fight is over. 
And he's got a hold of the leg to prevent him from doing that right now. But you see him trying to work that leg in there. Yeah, possibly looking for a toe, but then going back to the arm again. And it's a tackle! Fatal! Bleeding! Hurt! But still gets the arm back at three in the early seconds of the first round. Still undefeated. Still the man. It's Fedor and Melianenko. Absolutely astonishing. And Melianenko got blasted early in the opening seconds of the fight. He went down to the canvas, and then he showed you he loves the ground and power. He can do it all. That's what this guy is known for. You can cut it. You can bust him. You can attempt submissions. He finds a way through it all. He is the world's best at finding a way to win and getting a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after his first MMA fight ever on his native soil is still a champ. Fedor Emelianenko. Well, it didn't last long, but it sure was exciting for as long as it lasted. Now, I'm taking my hat out to that man right there, Matt Bilal Linden. He's furious with himself, but putting up as much of a fight as any heavyweight ever has. Very, very able competitor, very capable opponent. He definitely can walk out of here with his head held high. Well, we've got replays coming up. So stick right with us, folks. This guy is a sensation. Here's where the cut happens. We probably could see it earlier. Oh, right on the eyelid. And you see Fedor wipe it off. Immediately knew that it ripped away. And look at this. He falls completely forward. Going for a uh, straight ankle lock. And Lenlin pulls the guard very quickly. Neutralizing Fedor's uh, leg lock game. Here's a look at the end. Fedor bleeding all over Matt Lennon. Looked like he was going to go for an Americana. Had a hold of that arm. And there you see it. That is, is clearly going to pop right there. Matt Lennon still holding his elbow right now inside center ring. Here's another look at it. Lennon kicks his feet away as if to get out of an ankle lock. But there's a big tap. And Lennon immediately grasped his elbow. But here's the winner. Let's go up for the official word, Colonel. All right, let's make it official as we go to our ring announcer. Go ahead, Damian. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner comes at the two minute, 38 second mark of round number one. Your winner by way of arm bar tap out, Fedor Emelianenko. Unbelievable Brazilian jiu-jitsu he resorted to. So many times I've seen him in the pound and ground. 